What's going on everybody? Welcome to an Alexa Skills with Flask Ask and Python tutorial series. In this tutorial series we're going to be building our own Alexa skill. The skill that we're going to build here is one that just goes to the World News subreddit, pulls the headlines and tells us the headlines. So pretty simple app, but what it's going to let us do is learn how to interact with the Alexa device and also how to run our own Python logic and functions in our uh, Alexa skill. So let's go ahead and get started. So like I said, we're going to be using Flask Ask, which is a Flask ex extension. If you don't know what Flask is, it's a pretty popular web framework for uh, Python. Now, you don't have to know how to work with Flask in order to make use of this or really even to understand it. Here's some code here just with a really simple example, uh, but we're going to run through that uh, so you don't have to worry about understanding that just now as I write it, I'll explain it. Um, but it's not too complex, but if you already know Flask, I mean, that's kind of a cherry on top, I suppose. It'll be a little simpler, but it should be pretty easy. So the reason why we're gonna use it is it's just gonna make writing Alexa skills much easier in Python for us. The other thing we are gonna use, not in this video, but we will be getting to it is ngrok, and I'll explain why uh, when we get there, but you can download that now if you'd like, or you can just wait till we get to that point. So. Moving this aside, I'm going to go ahead and have us do a pip install flask either in cmd.exe uh, or terminal, whatever. So make sure you have flask and then also do pip install flask dash ask. If you have any problems with the installation process, uh, let me know and I'll do my best to help you out. And really anything in this entire series, if something is confusing, you can't figure it out, let me know and I'll do my best to, uh, to get you set right. So now let's go ahead and from Flask, we're gonna import uh, Flask with a capital F. Now from Flask underscore ask, we're gonna import capital A ask, statement, question, and session. So if you are familiar with Flask, session works very similarly to the Flask session element. Basically, in your app, each, kind of, each person has their own kind of unique session. And that's the same thing with Flask ask. Question, this is for the actual Alexa device pretty much. So. Basically everything everything Alexa might say to you is either gonna be like a statement or a question. A statement is just telling you something. Question, it's gonna expect a response from you and then it's gonna to have to process that response. So they're a little different. Now we're gonna import import uh, JSON, import requests, import time, and import uni decode, which uh, we didn't uh, install. So let's go ahead and uh, do that too. So pip install uni decode already have all these things, so that's why it goes a lot faster for me. So if you don't have them, uh, it might take a little bit longer. Feel free to pause or do what you need to do. Now, um, let's explain what these are going to do. So uh, JSON, we're going to be using that to interact with the Reddit API, which also you will need a Reddit account. It's free. You don't even need a legitimate email. You just make an account. So you will need an account on Reddit as well, uh, but it's instant. Um, anyway, the Reddit API will respond to us in, with a JSON object, so we're going to use JSON. Uh, requests, we're going to use that to actually interact with the internet, in this case the Reddit API. Time to just uh, space between our requests so the Reddit API doesn't get angry with us. And then you need to code uh, just in case we get uh, some sort of... Um, some sort of text in the title that Python is not going to be happy with, we're going to use unit to code. So anyway, or really any anything is not going to be happy with. Anyway, let's get to it. So first of all, as is typical with Flask, we'll say app equals uh, Flask and then name. That's just a typical app definition for Flask. Again, if you want to know more about Flask, I do have Flask, oh, an entire Flask tutorial series on my channel, but otherwise you can just take this as we're defining the Flask app. Now we're going to define the, the ask app, part of the Flask app. That's going to be ask. It's going to take the app and then we're gonna give basically the, the endpoint. So if you didn't have anything hosted on the server, you could just say it's at the, at the index, basically the homepage um, of the website. But what's interesting with Flask Ask is you can actually, it's an extension to Flask, therefore you can actually, you could have like, for example, Python programming.net, that is a Flask application. I could also have an Alexa skill added into it using Flask Ask, and I could have it all in the same file, basically, all in the same program that um, they would work together. So anyways, just to exemplify that, I'm gonna say, rather than being at the home, I'm gonna say it's at Reddit slash Reddit reader. 
Now, for now, we're going to leave this empty, but eventually we're going to have a function that's going to be that's going to do something, and it's going to grab the headlines. And so we're going to call that get headlines, but we're not going to fill it out for now. We're going to do that in the next tutorial. Uh, right now, I just want to focus on just dealing with the Alexa device. So now, being a Flask app, we could have something like this. So generally, with Flask apps, you've got the decorators, which if you don't know what decorators are, check out the uh, Intermediate Python series. Uh, there's a tutorial there for uh, decorators. And if you're watching this right when this video comes out, there might not be a direct decorator video yet, uh, but it should be there really quickly. And if you're not watching this right when it comes out, um, there will be one there. Anyways, uh, you have a decorator. Basically, a decorator is, you can think of it almost like it wraps a function. It's literally decoration for a, a function or a method. And it's going to just add a little bit of code, a little bit of fluff or something. In the case of Flask, generally, this is uh, specifying what the URL basically path is. So when you say just slash, you're saying basically, let's say your website is www.website.com. Slash is just this, slash. Up here, remember we have Reddit Reader? That's uh, like this, Reddit Reader, right? If you were to go to your, uh, if I could type, that'd be great. <laughs> anyway, if you're gonna go to like your browser and type that in, basically that's how that works. So it sets the path of what you want. So anyway, on a regular Flask app, it would look like this. You might say define homepage. And you might return, um, hi there, how you doing? Okay, something like that. And then now to run a Flask app, we're gonna say if name equals main, just to make sure that the only time we would run this is if it's the, uh, if we're running basically this file, we're gonna do app.run, we will set debug equal to true. I can save that and barring any sort of typo or something that will run, it runs on a local host, which is why we're gonna use ngrox shortly. We can actually take that URL, and let me move this over, and you can visit that. You can visit that URL in your browser and you should see that return. Okay, so that's, that's basically Flask, and Flask app ask is gonna work really similarly. So again, with any, uh, any sort of pathway, right, recall on with, with uh, the Alexa device, how does a user interact with or how does a user browse uh, your application, or in this case, we're calling it skill. Uh, well, it's gonna do it via speech, so it's gonna have to say something or, or do something, but at least to start, like what's the home page of your Flask app? Well, the way that we reference that is just with, again, a decorator, and it's ask. So here it's app, because we're referencing Flask. Here, since it's uh, we're doing something now with our uh, skill, it's ask. And then we just say ask.launch, no parameters at all, just ask.launch. And then now let's go ahead and say define start skill. And then we can have some sort of message. So we'll call this welcome message. And we're just gonna say, um, hello there, would you like the news? Okay, so, um, so this is what the Alexa device is actually going to say. Um, one thing I really liked, and this is why I kind of wanted it to read headlines, is I was fairly impressed with how relatively fluid Alexa can speak sentences. It's not gr it's not the greatest. <laughs> it's not like totally human, but it's it's pretty good. It's be it's better than like the typical text to speech you have on your computer anyway. Uh, anyway, um, so it'll say that. It just says that. So now, uh, what we're going to say is we're just going to return, and this is not a statement, right? Got a question mark there. That's a question. So we're going to return question. But still, we're just gonna pass welcome message. Now, just for the record, if you are familiar with Flask, Flask has a thing called render, wow, render template, right, like that. Um, a couple of things, usually you would return a render template and then you would pass the template. Flask ask does come with a sort of template handling. Now, I haven't really, you know, I haven't made crazy apps for any Alexa device, but it's really unclear to me why I would use it because you can also use the kind of the Jinja formatting and stuff for variables and logic, which is cool, but <clears throat> it's unclear to me why you would ever pass that into there because you, you're not using HTML, right? It's only text that's going to go to and from the Alexa device itself. So I'm not quite sure. So if anybody knows why there are templates with Flask Ask, let me know. <laughs> because you could just save it all to a variable and then use like string formatting, which we will later on. Um, to do variables and stuff. So anyway, I don't know. Uh, so anyway, it's it can be this simple. So, so I was looking around at other um, documentation basically for this, and I was curious what was the point of the templates. Okay, moving along. Now we're gonna have, so basically someone at this point can either say yes or no. So we have to handle navigation for a yes or a no. 
So let's handle yes first. So ask.intent. Let's just say yes intent. That's going to be the, the, the def definition of our intent. So with Alexa devices, you've got basically when you got input from a user, it's like it's just, it's called an intent. And the way that they say that intent is called an utterance. We'll talk more about that in not, probably not the next one, but the third one when we actually deploy this. Um, but anyways, that's what intent means. So now uh, let's go ahead and what have I done? I put a colon there. No colon, just the decorator. Now define share headlines and we're going to say uh, the headlines equals get underscore headlines and then we're going to say now um, basically what headlines is going to do is it's going to grab the headlines and then it's going to just stringify all of the headlines together but we're going to go ahead and, and like we're going to keep that function just getting the headlines not adding anything more to it so then we're going to say headline message will will leave that get headlines function and it'll say like the current world news headlines are and then we'll use some string formatting dot format headlines again i uh, it's unclear to me why you would use templates but in general like if you, if you look around, you'll see people use the templates and then they'll pass the variable to the template, use the format, the Jinja formatting. So do what you want. Uh, and again, if you know why, let me know. I'm genuinely curious what, what would be the point ever of using it. Anyway, return, this time it's a statement. We're not asking a question, so we're just gonna return the statement. And that statement will just be headline message. Now, the user could also say no. So we have to handle for a no. So we're going to say at ask.intent, and you might guess what's coming. It's going to be a no in intent. Great. Now we're going to say uh, define no intent, and then we'll have some by text, and we'll just say, uh, I am not sure why you asked me to run then, but OK. Bye. I actually found out that ellipses appears. I, I'm not 100% confident, but it does appear to take a slighter pause. Uh, so anyway, there we go. Uh, return statement by text. Boom. Okay, cleaning up. And uh, there you have it. That is all of the Python logic that's going to be, well, sorry. <laughs> all the Python, yeah, I guess I could have finished. That's going to be all of the Python logic that's going to be required to uh, work with the Alexa device. Now what we're going to do in the next tutorial is just fill out this get headlines function and actually get some headlines for us to actually work with with the uh, with the app. But you could fill in anything here, and then again I'll mention it in the next one too. But you don't have to do the world news subreddit. You could do any subreddit you want. You could do technology or Python or I'm pretty sure that I forget what the one is for Alexa. It's not just straight up Alexa. It's something else I think. But anyway, <laughs> you could do those uh, if you want. So. Up to this point, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next Alexa tutorial.